Just meanwhile, uh, we're waiting for others. I just want to start that uh, today we have released our monthly report. Uh, if you know, before Starbucks used to issue weekly reports, and actually last year we've uh, we've created more than fifty reports on a weekly basis. But as our team grows, and uh, as a number of processes uh, within the company grows, we find it difficult to report on a weekly basis because some of uh, some of our uh, checkpoints are. Uh, are monthly and some of them are based on a couple of weeks performance. So we decided to, to report on a monthly basis. And today we're gonna speak about uh, our first monthly report, the report of August. So we're gonna uh, share uh, the activities that uh, we've been, uh, we went through in August. As, uh, as well as we will speak about our future and further plans for the month of September. And again, it's very important for us uh, because in September, we will close uh, Q3, uh, Q3 period, which means that we will report to our investors. We will, uh, we will look and we build the retrospective on our roadmap. A lot of things uh, have been done. Some things are still needs uh, to be working on. Are uh, still in progress. However, there is a lot of uh, new, new products and uh, new approaches that we are implementing. And uh, because the industry changes very quickly, so we have to adapt to that change. Uh, so that's something that we're gonna share with you guys. Uh, Ross, tell me please if we can continue. If everything goes fine, if we're yeah, everything goes fine, we can continue. I, I just want to mention that we have two phases of the of this live stream. In the first, uh, firstly, we will talk about uh, our uh, our last months, about the August and the future plans and developments. And after that, we will move to the second stage. We will answer their uh, questions from the community. Offline and online, I mean the questions that were asked before in our Telegram community and live, uh, and the questions from the live stream. Perfect. Uh, so let me share the screen. Uh, and actually, whenever I say uh, hi, so first of all, hi, it's me, Jim JFC <laughs> of Starbucks. We have uh, Ross and Igor here. Ross is the chief operating officer and co-founder of Starbucks, Igor is the chief operating officer at Starbucks Exchange. Uh, that's uh, actually the Starbucks Exchange is the product that we have a lot of questions about from our community and we also will be happy to, to answer them. So let me share the screen and uh, show, you, show you the report that we have, uh, we have issued today. It's a Starbucks monthly report uh, it's available. Uh, it's available on our blog. Ross, can you please share that with our community? It's it's already live. Yeah. Uh, just to just to let you know that we're using we're using Confluence as the internal uh, informational database, and we are storing all of the employees' reports, all of the monthly, weekly reports for every individual person who works. Uh, in this case, we kind of track the activity of every individual working within the Starbucks, and we can uh, we can build the metrical system of how we perform. It's very important. We shift to that system quite recently, so this is the first quarter that we are implementing that, and it's a very handy instrument for managing managing 50 plus people online. And Starbucks has already more than 50 people uh, working uh, working for us in different sections in tokenization, in, uh, in exchange, in the tech team. So we're growing and those tools definitely happy, uh, help us uh, to maintain. So uh, just we start from the, from the very beginning and from the product section 
as you know, that one of our main products and uh, something that is already feasible is a product dashboard, a Starbucks dashboard, <clears throat> is the SaaS system based on a blockchain uh, that allows management and uh, management of digital securities, security tokens. So you can issue, create, uh, streamline, manage, uh, um, fundraise. So you can do all sorts of things with, uh, with security tokens within dashboard. And uh, as the current version, well, we're constantly upgrading that. And uh, as some of you may have seen, uh, our first client is the Mariana Mining Company. Uh, they're getting ready. Their STO is, is being getting ready. Uh, soon they will uh, they will spread the information on that. Uh, so meanwhile, we uh, we're enhancing on the functionality of the of the dashboard, and we are signing the contracts with uh, with STO clients. So that's that's a process that's already built. In the report, I will show you the, the amounts of sales that we have already reached. But that's, that's, that's a standalone uh, SaaS product that uh, is being demanded on the market. We have already uh, you know, a feeling of how uh, people are interested in, in the product. And uh, uh, from now on, we'll be basically we'll be deploying this uh, software to our clients. So Mariana Mining will be the first company. Uh, again, we have a roadmap on our STOs. We're a bit late on the track, uh, but it's uh, actually it's not because of the Starbucks. It's because of the because of the low uh, August and uh, July season. Uh, but we'll we'll catch up and we hopefully will close eight deals uh, before the end of the year. So eight companies will be tokenized. Uh, or they will be at some point of, uh, of tokenization within Starbucks. Uh, so in terms of the updates, what has been done uh, for the dashboard, we are adding multiple offering functionality. So that's something that is quite unique because some of our clients come and say, listen, guys, we are we're having several offerings under one hood. We have a several uh, opportunities to give to investors for example real estate um, or different phases of uh, one fundraising where there's a private section of the fundraising and there's a public so for that we need to upgrade to the multiple offering that's exactly what we do so our software will allow to fundraise and you know to to, to manage offerings uh, plural not just one, which is very important. Uh, they also, uh, as you may know, we're very we're very concerned about the design standpoint. So mm -hmm. we're very uh, work uh, we're working on the bug review and make sure that they uh, the, the products are uh, nice and neat. So our clients are happy from all standpoints, uh, from the visual also. So. This is something that we, we move on. And uh, if you want to see the product, you want, if, there's two ways how you can do this. So you can either subscribe to a demo and we are releasing a demo on the Coven network, which is, which is a demo network of Ethereum. Uh, it's a test network. Uh, so anybody can go and play uh, with, with the demo. If you're a company, if you are, I mean, we don't, we don't give out logins and passwords but we can go through the product with you if you would like or uh, you can go to the dashboard.stopbox.io and register for yourself uh, past KYC if you would like to become an investor of Starbucks you can easily do by uh, by using the, the dashboard so that's exactly the same uh, solution that we offer to our clients um, it's, it's straightforward, simple, compliant, uh, legally correct. And that's exactly what our clients are waiting for us from the, from the digital securities dashboard standpoint. And uh, I want to add, uh, sorry please. for interrupting, I want to add that we have already updated uh, and released Stobox dashboard uh, 2.0 from the corporate and from their investor uh, environment perspective. And um, ready to deploy it for our clients, pre-pre the Mariana Mining ST Lounge. 
Yes. So uh, just to summarize, uh, there is there is a quote saying that. Uh, dashboard is being deployed for three clients launching STO in September. So we have three ongoing clients, uh, including Mariana Mining, that has already committed, and dashboards will be uh, deployed uh, deployed as soon as possible for them. Again, there's a lot of information. STO security token offering is a big thing, so we should not we should not think of this as a kind of easygoing process uh, because. There's a lot of nuances, and besides technological nuances, there's a lot of uh, like operational human nuances. You have to take care of a lot of small things, and uh, sometimes business owners are not that focused. So it takes time for people to prepare to understand how the system works. So we spend a bit of more time than we expected with our clients on that. But uh, but again. Uh, that's a perfect knowledge we have to gain before we can streamline those operations on a global scale. Uh, so that's that's something that we want to share about the dashboard. Uh, it goes well. Again, you can see it. Uh, and uh, the other part of the dashboard, which is a swap, that's something that we're going to speak separately about. That's a secondary market for, for securities. And this is something where we have some, definitely we've got some surprises. So <clears throat> just for you to know that uh, as most of our company and team members from Ukraine, and we are, uh, we're assisting uh, in some sort of, uh, we're assisting uh, government uh, of Ukraine in respect to digital assets and tokenization. We have made the decision to file for the digital assets license in Ukraine. Uh, the legislation is uh, is to be enforced in uh, this autumn. So we definitely will be one of uh, first uh, companies that seek to be regulated in Ukraine. And Ukraine is considered to be a top ten country by the world in the world by the amount of uh, crypto activity. And uh, the second in the world, the second in the world, but uh, I mean figures figures jump. So. Uh, just we make sure that those uh, kind of those this demand uh, sorry this demand uh, can be captured by Starbucks products, and this is one thing. the the, the second uh, uh, the second important uh, aspect that we work on the uh, Starbucks exchange. So besides the liquidity, uh, besides the fact that we are applying for for a license. Uh, in Ukraine, I just want to remind you one important thing, that Starbucks main focus is tokenization. And our main uh, clients and our paying customers are businesses. And today, we, uh, our sales team and uh, kind of our pipeline, uh, we absorb a lot of information about digital transformation of different companies. Those companies have never been to the crypto arena before. Some of them have never touched crypto assets before. But a lot of businesses, they seek uh, benefits that come from the crypto world. And those benefits have to be digested by their businesses in some sort or another. Tokenization and tokenization of securities is a one way of how benefit how businesses can benefit crypto, but another way is is payments is managing their crypto, issuing their utility tokens, uh, providing different and new and updated business models based on crypto, and that's something where they seek uh, professional advice, and this is something where where we come into play. And this is exactly why we need Starbucks Exchange, because for those companies, they're not looking for uh, issuing token in order to list them on Binance or Huobi or tier one exchanges. For them, it's a different new world. They don't even have that demand. But what they have is that they need a compliance space to be able to issue their token, spread the information, uh, you know, get their users buy and sell so that's something uh which is which is more kind of uh 
more local, more in a sense that they touch one provider and provider helps them uh, solving different problems, including exchange of digital assets. So we never thought of building a second Binance. We uh, see the potential and we more we go, uh, actually more we see uh, that we're right. In terms of uh, in terms of the accent on the crypto exchange, because just imagine, and this is a real life example, that uh, one of our potential clients is uh, is the football company. Uh, actually, it's the company that builds the platforms for football players, and uh, fundraising for football players uh, could be a, a a game changer for for a lot of teams uh, around the world. And the utility token, which can be implemented, uh, could be a very much demanded between, between the fans of those, of those players. So working with such companies would allow us to list those utility tokens on our exchange at the better fees and you know, in, in accordance to the, uh, to the full service provision for that company. So our client would not have to go and list this token somewhere else, but rather list it with us because we take them by hand and follow on every stage of their uh, development within the crypto uh, kind of crypto activity. And this, again, this is very important to understand because our goal is not to compete. Our goal is to provide the service for the demand, uh, to meet the demand of our clients that we build pipelines on. And again, our goal is to provide tokenization and access to the, uh, to the tokenization of uh, securities and, and assets, and uh, basically from scratch, to the product stage and that's exactly what we're doing mm -hmm. uh, so far uh okay. let me move on uh, yeah, uh, last 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 uh, last point okay. and we're moving on to their uh, questions uh, from the community uh, and i want to end that not we yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> okay that, that, that we are very in active phase of uh, phase of our fundraising of stbx of stock tokenized shares and I, I can share with you that we are currently communicating with three funds from US and wealth individuals. And we are planning and we are looking. It would be perf perfect if we can close our round uh, in September, October this year, because currently we see a big boom on STO market and big interest from the client's perspective and from the investors to participate in such as offering of the private companies. Uh, of the private companies so it is great opportunity for for the investors and uh, for the funds to enter the market uh, because once will and it is very great news for our uh, existing uh, stbx holders and stobox investors that uh, once we will close our small bridge round that we mentioned uh, after that we will do uh, our second round in very different, higher valuation, and it will have a big impact, of course, of their price per, per share. Thank you. We'll definitely let let know our community. Just uh, just before we move on to the Daffy hot uh, topics, mm, just to summarize, because that's something that uh, that is really interesting about Starbucks is that. Uh, in August, we have closed four deals. And again, when Ross uh, says about uh, our own fundraising, mm -hmm. uh, we, we deliberately, uh, we deliberately uh, cut the amount that we fundraise by two. We were initially thought of uh, and created uh, around for 1 million US dollars for the uh, devaluation of TAN. But we have decided to the board has decided to uh, to drop that, and we will be <clears throat> raising only half of that amount, uh, just uh, just at this stage to make sure STO works, and to kind of meet demand of our uh, our first investors. And once we finish that, <clears throat> we have uh, 
we have series of activities planned. So besides Daffy that I'm going to speak about in a second, uh, we have three conferences, uh, actually four conferences that we will take uh, place in. Uh, there will be two conferences in Dubai in October, in the mid in mid October and close to the end of October. So uh, we will be the active participants of these conferences, and uh, I think that our presence uh, will uh, gain additional exposure for Starbucks and additional clients and additional recognition for both Starbucks services and Starbucks uh, token STBU. Uh, that's uh, that will be in October this year. Uh, at the end of October, we are um, we will be uh, taking place in uh, and taking action in uh, Crypto Valley uh, conference uh, regarding tokenized securities in Switzerland. So uh, we will be speakers and we will uh, play an active part in that conference as the provider of such services. And uh, the last, but definitely not the least, is that we are hosting our second digital uh, investment conference. Last year, we held the first one uh, where we gathered uh, great people around the world, uh, great professionals working in uh, tokenized uh, securities, assets, uh, digital assets, so in, in also the crypto world. So we'll be hosting a second conference. We will let people know about that. We will have a lot of guests this year. We will have uh, a lot of clients this year. We will have a lot of engagement this year. So definitely the look of Stobox um, and from the investors' uh, eyes will uh, hopefully will be getting better and better. We have, we're uh, definitely, we, there is no rush for us. Uh, we are selling our services uh, at the Q3 once we create uh, and finalize our financial report. We know that, we already know that our tokenization part of the business is already becoming profitable. So we're not only gen revenue generating, we are income generating company uh, in respect to tokenization services. Uh, definitely it's not the only services that Starbucks uh, works uh, with because we have a DeFi section, we have exchange, we have other uh, other interests in, uh, in, in crypto. But from the tokenization standpoint, uh, we are, and this is exactly where investors' money go to, uh, this, uh, we are, we're trying to, and we're creating that income positive from, hopefully from this year. Uh, and mm -hmm. on. Uh, again, just to summarize, uh, we have four closed deals for security tokens. Three of them are from investment funds. One of them from from real estate company. Uh, and uh, and again, if you would like to find out more about the uh, shares of Stubbox Technologies, go dashboard.stubbox.io register. We don't send our uh, our uh, documentation without you being you, you passing KYC. So please pass KYC so we know that you are a decent person uh, from the proof of humanity standpoint. And once that is done, you can see our reports and become part of a Starbucks. Uh, just again, before we go go uh, before we go next, That's I just right. want to summarize. I just want to summarize uh, that we're working on the marketing campaigns to attract STL clients. We're refactoring presentation and sales materials, which are very important uh, because we believe that there is a, there definitely should be uh, some updates from the last uh, last version that we created three months ago. Uh, we're refactoring tokenomics. I'm gonna speak on that in a second. Uh, we have a lot of business, ongoing business development, and uh, with different uh, different blockchains, different companies, and uh, that takes time. But we are also playing active role in the business development um, arena. Uh, 
setting up optimized legal structure again uh that's that's a process that we are currently working on uh from the tax standpoint from the company standpoint we need to set up a proper legal structure to make sure that the, us and our investors are on a safe boat so that's that's exactly what's going on at the moment um setting up crypto activities and updating the roadmap for for Q4. Uh, so that's uh, that's something that um, uh, we wanted to share with you uh, outside the DAFI part. And that's uh, if you if you guys, Ross Eager, if you have any anything to add, let me know. Otherwise, no, let's, let me... yeah, let, let, let's rush because we have 21 minutes left. Okay. We need to answer all of the questions. So I think we have there <laughs> maximum so, time of two, two, two minutes per questions will be perfect. Okay. So let's go to the most important thing. And I think that's something Please that community. Stop, stop your sharing your screen. I exactly share. Okay. I, okay. Let me stop sharing the yep. screen. Uh, we get the questions from the uh, Naomi, I think, during this live stream regarding L2, and I think you have already answered it. So as I understand, the DS swap will mostly work like a Uniswap. In DS swap, can anyone participate in the liquidity pool or only companies can provide liquidity? Uh, that's a good question. We don't have it. Uh, we don't have this yet, but uh, what we definitely know is that uh, anonymous provision of liquidity is something that we would we would avoid okay. because because uh, because again at some point of the development regulators will look at this and it will create and it uh, create uh, certain uh, certain challenges for us so we're not trying to compete with Uniswap or Solana we're not trying to uh, you know to 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 fork and to be as like others we see our own uh, vision and we enforce our own vision we see that again for digital securities for uh, for such things you need to have amls and we will implement aml and kyc technologies not for all of us but for the companies for people who believe that that's the true way and this is exactly where we see our market Okay, thank you, Jean, for your detailed answer. So uh, moving forward, the second question uh, is from Hidden. How much money does a new project need to get to tokenize their project? And from what amount the retail can participate in the tokenized project? So in what way is the STO market interesting for a small retail investor? So first of all, the, uh, the price of the offering with Stobox uh, is around uh, th from 30 to 60 K uh, United States dollars. And it includes the consulting stage, uh, the consulting report where we analyzed what jurisdictions fit best, what is the potential pitfalls, what is the regulations, what is the roadmap uh, of the projects and uh, the company can avoid additional risks. And also we help companies with legal management of their offering from the drafting and preparing the PPMs, uh, private placement memorandums, uh, security token purchase agreements, privacy notice, uh, etc. So all legal uh, necessary documentation that is, is needed uh, to be done during their STO. And also we're providing a tech. And also their pricing depends on, on the amount of the offering and uh, of their company side. So, for example, if you uh, raise $1 million, you have, for example, in Europe exemptions uh, that your private placement memorandum is not uh, necessarily need to be registered uh, in uh, their regulator authorities. When you raise, for example, $50 million, it is completely a different picture and you need to have their additional uh, re regulatory nuances and it takes time and it uh, costs money. And also it depends on the size of the company. For example, if you're a uh, small enterprise, small SME, small medium enterprise, or 
uh, you are a startup, it is one of uh, one of the way uh, how you can conduct your STO. But if you are a company with 5,000 investors and you have already the turnover of $3 million and you have 100 employees, so you have a big company, uh, a lot of reporting documents, uh, it takes time to analyze all the nuances and to prepare uh, all the documents. So the answer is regarding the prices to sum up, it is around 30 and 60K dollars, depends on the amount of the offering and the company size. Regar regarding their uh, advantages for their retail investors, retail public investors. First of all, it is a possibility to participate in the offering of the private company. And it is a game changer that nowadays uh, retail investors can participate in the legal offering, uh, legal compliant offering of the private companies completely online uh, without additional meetings uh, in physical board, etc. So uh, we are opening a, a trillion market uh, of the private companies that have their own business model uh, and uh, that can be very interesting for the investors uh, from their uh, business model perspective and from the revenue and profit share. So uh, in this way, uh, it is very beneficial for the company to attract a funds and with better valuation and for investors to participate in private company and then uh, have the liquidity of their securities that can be traded uh, through our, for example, future DSO. And it's more have to than IDO, ICO, IEO, and etc., etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. So I have answered the question. So uh, moving to the third one, we have uh, we have a question from uh, our mate Vic. Uh, he asked, "What the Starbucks? Uh, what does pro Starbucks for projects like Elrond?" Uh, guys, Elrond is a blockchain and uh, we have spoken to them and uh, guys are doing great. Uh, we see a number of uh, great blockchains rising like Elrond and Algorand. Uh, so uh, we, are, we perfectly understand uh, how they work and how they operate. We definitely will not be keen in uh, spending our resources uh, just for the sake of it. Uh, in order to integrate or in order to work on uh, on this uh, on this network, but what we definitely have in mind is that if our clients uh, would like to tokenize on non-Ethereum blockchains like Algorand, like Algorand, uh, then there, there there could be there could be some risks with that. But uh, uh, nevertheless, if risks are taken care of we will be happy to provide the service on that blockchain. So mm -hmm. we'll be happy to shift our uh, compliance smart contract system uh, that we have developed on Ethereum. We can change and alter that to Elrond or Algorand and so on. Yep. And, 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 and then in this case, that could be uh, a, a chemistry. So that's uh, that hopefully okay. answers your question. Yep, thank you, Jim. Uh, the next question is, let me quickly dive to the second one uh, about the tokenomics. Uh, again, Vic asked, what about the new tokenomics uh, and what it will be announced, uh, when it will be announced. Guys, it will be announced, I hope, in September uh, with the new proof of stake model. Again, where we'll be start shifting towards the L2. Uh, Starbucks token will be combinable. Uh, just, just look... Uh, you know, just step back and look at the current uh, at the current uh, price and at the current position of Starbucks. Uh, we're getting traction, real traction uh, in 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 many uh, in many activities, including tokenization and dashboard. Uh, we're moving towards the regulation in Ukraine. We have uh, our token at the minimum possible price. Or I can't say possible, but again, the prices are really, really down. Uh, however, the whole market, you know, move, moves on. So for us, it's uh, 
uh, kind of, uh, we, we see the capacity behind that. I personally feel that uh, there's, there's so much room for growth. Once we update the economics, and regardless what happens at the moment, uh, I, I, I think that uh, if you multiply and look at the valuation of Starbucks at the moment, we are still very much undervalued. Uh, and again, that's, that's fine for our early investors because uh, as, as our vision, and again, as we created certain promises, we believe that uh, Starbucks token will be axing will be very much axing. Uh, I can't tell you much when, but we, you know, we, we, we do, uh, we do deliver. And uh, once there'll be more, more organic demand. And I think not, I think I know that L2 will create and proof of stake model will create a lot of demand for SDBU tokens. And once they become mineable and burnable, so that system uh, will be placed within the economics yep. uh, very, very much soon. And um, I, I know that we will gain our returns uh, at some point. I can't say much behind, you know, uh, about the price uh, expectations, you know, but I think there's, uh, there's very much potential uh, from what I see at the moment. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for joining Stobox. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Gene, for your detailed answer. And uh, we will uh, continue uh, publishing our monthly reports uh, like today, uh, like in August. And we'll uh, continue to report to you of the company developments and new nuances, nuances. And it will be great if you can join our next live sessions, uh, ask ask any questions that are answered and as you see <laughs> all the questions from the community and that uh, were asked during the live streams are answered so we trying to be very transparent and happy to uh, add you to the live stream uh, as well if you want to ask our questions face to face it is no problem and uh, an opportunity as well so thank you thank you for your participation Thank you, guys. Uh, the last thing, sorry, Igor. The last thing, sorry, man. The last thing I want to add. If you want to uh, kind of be on the safer boat, if crypto is too is too risky, is too roller coaster for you, uh, we have uh, we have a security token. So it's a share of our company that's being represented in a tokenized form. Uh, Dashboard.starbucks.io. Go uh, pass the KYC once you. We're happy that uh, with the proof of humanity, uh, then you can become uh, uh, as an investor on Starbucks. And we are sp we were speaking to very uh, kind of very unique and, uh, and very interesting funds and guys around the world from the fintech, fintech and crypto perspective. And uh, I think that 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 definitely uh, is a is a good thing too. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's our company. Something we can, <laughs> something we can promise uh, from from ours, from us. <laughs> so we're not promoting third-party securities, but definitely <laughs> invest in stocks. Yeah, Sigur. Uh, yeah, I just want to add to one important thing that we were focusing on uh, API on uh, August. So now our API is almost done, and hope soon we will list uh, on the most important aggregators such coin gecko coin ranking coin market cap and etc just for your knowing some insights for you uh, hope it will help you uh, in your daily uh, journey with uh, all cryptos <laughs> so that's all from my side thank you thank you guys for participation thank you for watching us thank you for answering uh, asking questions and hope we'll see you on the next live session we're also waiting for new questions in our telegram uh, arabic we'll collect all questions so want to say thank you yeah thank you guys thank you very much and we stay in touch thank you Jens. Yeah, bye bye all the best bye <laughs> bye, bye. bye.